talked to Coach Williams in the spring. He said he's planning on going with an eight or nine man rotation. Um, what What are you guys bringing to the defensive front so far? I mean, I know it's only a week in the practice, but what are you seeing from the rest of the guys? Um, what I'm seeing from the rest of the group, we're bringing toughness, uh, physicality, and we will run. You know, that's some, that's something we we will pride ourselves on because we probably aren't as big as the group before, but we have ability and skill, and we we're going to run to the ball. And that's what that's what we're going to pride ourselves on. Um, yeah, I mean, but the the eight eight or nine man rotation. Do you guys actually have enough depth to pull that off? Enough pieces that can actually go out there right now and play against you know a team like Louisville in Week One and actually pull off that eight or nine man rotation? I mean, we believe we believe in our system. We believe in our coach, and the skills there. We see it, and I feel like we we can pull it off. Um, talk a little bit about some of the new guys. Um, I know Basham looked pretty good in the spring off the end. Uh, McLeod's a pretty big guy, Juco guy. Uh, just tell me a little bit about some of the new guys. Uh, have you taken any of them under your wing a little bit and kind of uh, tried to mold them? Yeah, we, we're like a brotherhood, big family. Uh, so you can say everyone's under each other's wing, you know, the older guy's wing. But, uh, yeah, Terrell's doing well. Quick guy, fast, you know. He was going to run to the ball. He's strong. He's going to play football. He's doing what he's coached. Cameron, he, Miss, Mississippi boy, yeah. you know. But he's physical, and and he loves football. So he when he gets he make his plays, he's running. And we, we just playing hard-nosed football. We got Cleon, Eloisi from some American Samoa. I mean, he's a style young guy. And we see Promise and Watson, Tatiaki. A lot of young guys, but they, they're getting the ability to learn the playbook and they're learning how to execute it. And that's the, that's the main point is if they can catch on fast enough, then it's going to, be, it's going to come fast when, when it's game time. You know, so there wouldn't be no hesitation. And that's the, that's the main point that they're understanding all the plays. Um, what's the biggest challenge uh, so far? I mean, again, you're only a week into fall camp, but what's been the biggest challenge so far in terms of uh, getting prepared for the season? Uh, well, I would say probably, are you talking about me or as uh, a, for you, the group? For the group, yeah. Well, as a group, I would say our mentality right now, uh, there's, like, there's nothing really like we're going to play. We're going to play football. It's just a lot of young guys, and they need to understand. They right now, they're starting. They're starting to understand that that there's going to be some young guys that have to play, and they're picking their game up, and they see what the older guys are doing. So they're mimicking what we're doing, and they're trying to do it extra harder. And you, you got to respect that. And that, that's so. That otherwise mentality. That's that's a good. That's that would be it. But, Man, that's really it. Right, now, uh, you're going to hear this question a lot uh, until the game actually happens, but you know, going up against Louisville week one, right. uh, you know, they've got some great weapons. They just added Michael Dyer to the backfield. What is that kind of challenge like? Uh, how are you guys looking forward to that game? How are you, like, you yourself mentally preparing for a matchup against a team like that? Uh, me, uh, basically, we're going to respect our opponent. We respect them. There's, there's nothing wrong with saying that we respect them. But we're going to make them respect us uh, because that's just how we play football. You see, that you're not going to respect us, but by the end of the game, you will respect us because we're going to play some hard-nosed football. And mentally, how we get ready for the game is we come out here and practice against our offensive line. We have weapons, too, so we're going to practice against our weapons, and we're going to get better from against our team to play them. We're just going to line up. What's that like getting to go up against an offensive line like the one that Ohio has? I mean, they've got some really good guys up there, you know, on the front five. What's that like getting to go up against them every day in practice? It's, it's, real, it's real, very good because you can get a real a real look. Like, you have some yeah. some big guys, so you're getting real looks. There's Like, there's no looks that you can't just play and be like, well, I don't think that's going to happen in a real game. When they do something, you gonna have to know that just because that's can that can that can be that that can happen at Louisville. You know, you got to see things like that because we have some big guys on the offensive line. All right, and then uh, personally, what are some of the goals that you have set for yourself this season? What are some things that you want to achieve? Uh, I want to be an all man performer. I plan on getting 50 to 60 times. Uh, 
round 15 type of loss, hopefully working on it. And just be a better pass rusher. Try to get maybe six sacks. Um, as a unit, what like what kind of goals have you guys laid out for yourselves as a defensive line? Uh, our main our main goal right now as a unit is to not be is to not be the group. And what I mean by that, I mean the group that everyone questions because everyone thinks that we're young. They, they they don't understand. They don't know. They don't think we're, that we're capable of playing football. But these young guys are learning and picking things up. And we, by the end of this camp and by the start of the season, we want to let everybody know that our D line can be dominant with the key pieces that we lost. Without the key pieces that we lost.